in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my PureTalk Wireless USA review and answering the question, is it actually a good choice in the year 2022? Well, I have a surprising answer for you. So guys, let's talk about it. Well, hey there, guys. Welcome back to yet another episode here at EB3 Studios. And if we're meeting for the first time, I'm your host, Eddie. And today, we're talking about Pure Talk USA. And a couple of you have actually asked me to go ahead and give my review on Pure Talk Wireless USA. So, guys, let's go ahead. We're going to dive right on in here. So, first off... I do want to let you guys know that Pure Talk USA uses the AT&T network. So now that we have that out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and dive on in to the actual service here. So I am at the Pure Talk USA website here. And this is how it looks, guys. Same 5G network as the big guys at half the cost. Well... We'll see about that. Now here is what the commercials claim. Pure Talk uses the same network as one of the larger carriers with 5G coverage for much less. So we'll see about that. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna scroll on down here and we are greeted with a little thing here that says, how much could you save? Go ahead and select your carrier now, I'm not quite sure why they have Sprint and T-Mobile since they've actually joined forces. But anyway, you basically, if you want to see how much you can save, you can go ahead and select your carrier, choose how much data you need. And this basically goes off of the postpaid plans. So if we're comparing apples to apples here, you want to actually go ahead and compare prepaid to prepaid. Let's go ahead. Let's check the coverage here. They do claim to cover 99% of Americans on the nation's largest 4G LTE GSM network. So let's go ahead. I'm going to type in my zip code here so we can go ahead and get started here. And I can show you guys what's going on here. So I did type in my zip code and I hit the enter key and nothing's happening all right so it did take a while but it says you have coverage available for the zip code entered all right let's go ahead and see the plans here shop low cost cell phone plans they claim no contracts no activation fees and no surprises so let's go ahead and take a look and here are the current plans here. So for $20 a month here, you can get unlimited talk and text. That's actually all the plans here. So you do get two gigabytes of data. Let's see what that asterisk is. $25 a month for four, $30 a month for six, 35 for 10, 45 for 20, and then 55 for unlimited data with an asterisk there and 15 gigabytes of hotspots. So right off the bat, guys, there's actually a lot of different plans here. I personally think they should simplify these even more because there's one, two, three, four, five, six different plans. That's a little bit of an overload for the average person. Let's go with maybe four different plans. So let's go ahead and see what that little asterisk here is. So I'm going to zoom on in here. And we're going to go ahead. I'm going to read this together. So the asterisks here say, after you have used your plan's high-speed data allowance, we will not turn off your data but your speed will be reduced to 128 kilobits per second. Typically, you can expect an average download speed of 4 to 35. That's a pretty big range, honestly. And upload speeds of 1 to 5. So honestly, 
that's not very good because on the other carriers, usually the upload all the way to, I've seen 60 upload. So if they're saying one to five, that's definitely on the lower end here. And the latency with less than 60 MS. I do find that interesting because normally they don't talk about the latency really at all on any of the prepaid plans here. So kind of interesting that they say that. All right. And after 60 gigabytes of data usage on this one right here, the unlimited data, you will experience slower speed. So that is what we know. So on the $55 a month plan, it is only 60 gigabytes. So it's technically not true unlimited because after the 60 gigs, you're basically throttled to 128 kilobits a second and that's not usable. So I'm gonna go ahead. Most of you are probably interested in the unlimited here. So I do want to compare this to Cricket here because they do offer service on the AT&T network. So if you do take a look at it here, and I think this is actually what they're trying to compete with. $60 a month here with Crickets, $55 with the auto pay, unlimited and 15 gigabytes of mobile hotspot. But here's the thing with like Cricket. The premium data doesn't slow down based on your data usage. With Pure Talk here, it slows down after 60 gigabytes. So basically, this $55 a month plan gets you 60 gigabytes of that premium data. And then I do want to also note, guys, the prices here that you see do not include the taxes. So on other prepaid carriers, where most of them actually, they do include the taxes and fees. Just note with Pure Talk here, they do not include the taxes and that is extra. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the plans again, just briefly. So I talked about the $55 a month plan, which is more with taxes and fees. Let's go ahead and talk about these other plans here, just briefly here. So the $45 for 20 gigabytes of data here, 35 you get 10, 30 you get six, and 25 you get four, and then 20 you get two. Like I just mentioned guys, that's way too many plans to choose from. They really should simplify this. They're only increasing the price $5. They can honestly increase it by 10 and then just do like 4, 10, 20, and then the unlimited. But let's go ahead. I'm kind of curious here. So I'm going to click on this $55 a month plan here. And let's go ahead and take a look here at what is offered here. So they do have phones for sale here. And here's something interesting. So they do offer the eSIM, which is an electronic SIM card. So you actually don't need that physical SIM card. And then if your phone does not support the eSIM, which a lot of the newer iPhones do, but a lot of the Androids currently don't, you will need to purchase the SIM card here for $3. The majority of carriers are actually giving out SIM cards for no charge. So they really are trying to push the eSIM, and I think that's great, but charging $3 for a SIM card, I just don't see how that's useful. All right, now I want to go ahead, I want to dive into the coverage here. So let's go ahead, let's scroll up. I'm going to click on coverage here. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in my zip code. I am curious about a couple different things here. So this map here, yep, that's definitely the AT&T network here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my zip code here. So we can go ahead and take a look at a couple things together here. And what is interesting, 
I am in a 4G LTE area, but this color here actually looks like it's showing 5G, which that is not correct. Let me go ahead and click on this here. It is showing LTE coverage, 4G LTE, but are you guys seeing that? The color looks like it's 5G, and it's not. It's actually LTE. I can click on here as well, LTE coverage. So I don't know what is going on with their map, but it's showing that I'm in a 5G coverage area and I know I'm not. So that's honestly kind of confusing there. Besides the point, they do offer other coverage here, which I want to take a look at here. Okay, so other AT&T coverage is their fallback here, and it is showing 3G, which AT&T's 3G network is going to be shut down um, fe uh, February of 2022. So by the time you might be watching this, you might not even see this 3G as an option. But they do have, as well, off-net coverage, which is basically roaming coverage. So Pure Talk does roam. I am starting to see that as a trend on prepaid carriers on the AT&T network. And I think that's actually a very cool idea. All right, guys, let's continue. So I'm going to scroll up here. Why Pure Talk? Let's go ahead and click on their risk-free guarantee. It says, we're so confident you'll love Pure Talk. We invite you to try our service risk-free. Interesting. Okay, so I want to go ahead and take a look at this. With Pure Talk, there's no contracts, no long-distance fees, no roaming fees, no additional fees, but there is taxes. And it also says, okay, this guarantee enables new Pure Talk customers to receive a full refund if they're unhappy with the service until their next bill date or 500 minutes or 500 megabits of data is used. Okay, that is a big gotcha right there. That is huge because that's half a gig of data. So if you use over half a gig of data, which is very easy to, um, you don't qualify to get your money back. So I don't like that. All right, now I do want to go ahead and address smartwatches and tablets. So Pure Talk does not allow you to add a smartwatch, an Apple Watch, tablet, and no external hotspots. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and cover some additional facts and questions here. So there is an FAQ section, which I do find here to be pretty good. There is an option here that I do find kind of interesting. It says, is Pure Talk right for me? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click on it. If you're looking for a low-cost wireless service that runs on the nation's largest GSM network, then Pure Talk is for you. So honestly, I will go back to their plans in just a second here. But their plans compared to the competition on prepaid is honestly not very impressive. Who is this for? So you can go ahead and add additional lines of service. So for two lines, you can save 10%. Three lines, you can save 15. And four plus lines, you can save 20. I am curious. I'm going to click on the four plus lines and I do want to see how much they charge for the unlimited here. So for four lines for unlimited data, which technically is only 60 gigabytes of data, got to remember that, it's $176 a month. So if we compare that to Cricket here, and we go to the four lines here, we can compare that to this right here. There are four lines of unlimited data for 100 bucks a month or if you want to compare it even further here's the plan with the 15 gigabytes mobile hotspot so 33 dollars per line and with pure talk here 
it's $44 a line. So it's $10 more per line. That's $40 right there. So if Pure Talk is claiming that they offer some of the lowest prices in wireless, that right there is a straight up lie. So do I recommend Pure Talk USA? I actually do not. Based on my findings here, even if we go back to the one line of service here, the only way that I could maybe recommend it is if you just want something for like emergency purposes on the AT&T network, you can pay $20 a month and that gets you two gigabytes of data. If we compare that to Cricket here, $30 a month for five gigabytes of data. So it is $10 less, but with the taxes and fees, you're going to also see that there. So honestly, guys, based on my navigating through the site on Pure Talk USA, there's a lot of mixed messages that they are currently sending. So overall, I really cannot recommend Pure Talk USA as a good contender. I will go ahead and pin a comment to my recommendations for 2022 if you are truly looking to save some money. So anyway, guys, if you happen to enjoy this video, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel, pushes this video out into the algorithm so more people can be informed by this. And maybe you've come across me for the very first time and you're thinking to yourself, man, Eddie, thank you so much for digging into the information. I really appreciate it. And I'd like to stay in contact with you. And with Subscribe that, to the channel. Tick that little notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. So guys, on this channel here, I basically go through the cell phone carriers and I expose their practices and I do a deep dive and I really see what they are not telling you and I go ahead and expose their practices and if they're good, I'll tell you that they're good. Let's check out that pinned comment there. And if they're not good, like Pure Talk USA, I'm gonna tell you that right now. So anyway guys, and until next time.